Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my October reading wrap up. So I only read or I only finished three books in the month of October and I'm in the middle of one right now but I'm pretty happy with that considering I've been super busy this month and I put up a ton of videos this month which I am very proud of. If you missed my seven days of Halloween videos which are all just like spooky Halloween fall themed videos, I'll link the playlist down below in the description so you can go check that out if you're interested. And I definitely read some interesting books. That's both a good and a bad thing this month, so let's just get straight into them. So the first one I have to talk about, I'm actually not going to say a whole lot about it because it's just something that I was required to read for one of my classes, so I don't have like a particularly strong opinion on it. And that is Tender by Sophia Samatar. This is a collection of short stories, and I think I ended up giving it a four to five stars on Goodreads. The problem with this collection is I gave it a good writing, I can definitely appreciate its merit and its value, but I found it to be a pretty challenging read and it's just something that I really had to think about and try and understand what it was trying to get across, like the meanings and the messages were not super obvious and it's something you really had to analyze and think about. And it also just was something that I was like, I can acknowledge that this is, you know, really valuable and has a lot of merit, but it just wasn't particularly enjoyable for me, it wasn't like super resonating with me, like I didn't like relate to a lot of it. As far as like what it's actually about, this would be the most difficult book to explain. So I'm just gonna read you part of the inside copy. 20 stories here are compassionate, playful, and deeply strange fabulations. They explore the fragility and resilience of bodies, human environments, familial love, and the settings range from medieval Egypt to colonial Kenya to the stars. So yeah, that's about all I have to say about this one. <laughs> the next book I read this month is easily my favorite read of the month, and as soon as I hold it up, none of you, none of you will be surprised. And that is The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin. I believe this is actually getting released this month, so you guys are going to be able to read this too if you're interested, because this is an ARC copy. Yeah, this comes out on November 17th, so we're definitely getting close. I also ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Since this hasn't been released yet, I'm not going to say a whole lot about it. I will tell you that I really enjoyed it. If you're unfamiliar, this is a spin-off of the Mara Dyer trilogy, but instead of being from Mara Dyer's point of view, it's now from her love interest's point of view, Noah Shaw. And I will say, at least from this first book, because this is going to be the first book in a series, but from reading this first book, so far what I'm feeling is I preferred being in Mara Dyer's head opposed to Noah Shaw. I still enjoyed being in Noah's head, but I don't know, I definitely relate more to Mara, and I liked being in Mara's head, so reading from Noah's point of view and like seeing Mara as another character was a little bit weird for me. I couldn't quite get over it, but I still read this super super fast and it was like, it felt like like coming home. Like it was so comforting to like read about these characters and be back in this world and everything. Like it was very nice. So if you're a fan of the original series, I think you'll be very happy. And then the last book that I finished this month, I actually don't have a copy with me. It's at home because I read it over break and that was The Merciless by Danielle Vega. I have a full book review and discussion up of this book. So if you want to learn more about it, I can link that down below and also put like a little card up here for you guys. Thank you guys so much if any of you participated in the read-along that I hosted on Goodreads. It was super cool to see the discussions in there and just seeing everyone reading the same book. I just love hosting read-alongs because I love seeing the whole community come together and everyone like making new friends and talking to each other. It's just really cool to watch. So thank you if you participated and I hope you enjoyed the book if you did. Personally, I did not enjoy the book. I gave it a two out of five stars and I kind of rant a little bit about it in my review so I will leave that there. If you want to go see me rant, you can watch that video. I'll leave this as like a happy, safe space. I won't do it here. But The Merciless is essentially this horror young adult novel about this new girl in school who befriends the like super religious popular girls and then she ends up getting in this situation where she's helping these girls perform an exorcism on the outcast of the school and then that exorcism goes terribly, terribly wrong. It's a very graphic, brutal, violent, gory, gruesome horror novel. It's got like torture horror in it so it's definitely like a specific niche so if you don't like that kind of thing wouldn't recommend it. I personally love horror but I had way too many issues with this book. I'm not gonna get into here, I'm not gonna rant about it today, but yeah I gave that a two out of five stars. And then the last thing that I'm gonna talk about today, I haven't finished yet but I'm in the middle of it right now so I've read most of it in October so I just thought I'd throw it in here, is Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake. I'm a little bit less than halfway through this right now but I'm really really enjoying it. I was hoping to finish it by the end of the month but I've just been so busy that I haven't had the chance yet. Basically what this book is about is there are three triplets who are all in line for the throne but obviously only one of them can be queen so one of them has to kill the other two and whoever is the last one standing gets the crown. And so basically all three of them are supposed to have these like different powers or they're from like these different parts of the society that and then those powers are going to help them kill their sisters. So like one of them is really good with poisons and one of them is supposed to be able to like 
grow things like I like works with the earth I don't know how to explain it but like I said I'm really really enjoying it so far and I'm hoping to finish it soon so yeah that's all I have managed to read in the month of October definitely let me know now in the comment if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them I would love to hear your thoughts or tell me what your favorite book from October was I would love to know I think that's all I have to say Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, all of those links are down below in the description so we can be friends if you would like. All of the books that I talked about today are also linked down below in the description if you want to go learn more about them. And I'll just catch you guys later in another video very, very soon.